Hello, everybody. Welcome to the January 31st edition of Monday Musings. Happy feast day of St. John Bosco, uh, one of the patrons of the young, and of course, the last day of January. Um, where did January go? I don't know. It went really quick. Um, St. John Bosco, or Don Bosco, uh, as he is known in Italy it, for a while there, I, when I was first new to the order, I didn't know if his first name was Don or John. It's before I learned enough Italian to know that Don was the title, not the name. Uh, so they called him Don Juan Masco. Or no, what would be? I can't think of John in Italian right now, so that's how bad my Italian is. Anyway, uh, so happy feast day uh, for, for him. Um, this coming weekend, uh, you will not see me. I'll be up in Eugene at St. Thomas More University Parish, the Newman Center for the University of Oregon. Uh, go Ducks! Um, so I think many of you know that that was my first time as a pastor uh, when I was up there at St. Thomas More, so it has a special place in my heart. Uh, I'm looking forward to going back and seeing some of the longtime uh, permanent community there. Um, because the students that were there then when I was there are now married and have children uh, of their own, so <laughs> not students anymore. Um, but I was only there for a year. Um, at, at literally the end of my 11th month there, I was elected prior up at Holy Rosary in Portland. So unfortunately, my, my stint at St. Thomas More was a short one, but uh, I still made a lot of friendships up there, so I'm looking forward, again, as I say, to go up and see to see them. Uh, and then later in the month, I'll actually be going down to St. Dominic's Los Angeles uh, because they're celebrating their centennial. Uh, and that was my first assignment as a priest way back in the last century and the last millennium. Um, but that's that's a couple weeks uh, down, down the road. Um, so yeah, it's, it's uh, providential that we have St. John Bosco here in uh, Catholic Schools Week where we celebrate that great heritage of our nation. Uh, really, the Catholic Schools were system was begun right at the founding of our nation. So it is very much a part of uh, the fabric of, of our country. So it's something that we as Catholics uh, can be very much proud of our contribution to the education uh, of our nation. Uh, and certainly here at uh, St. Dominic's, uh, we have a long, uh, excellent uh, reputation to well be proud of here and to celebrate uh, and to, to uh, honor particularly our teachers uh, and staff. Uh, Mrs. Ogden gave a presentation at all of the masses, uh, or I should say most of the masses, uh, this weekend, she had a, a, a little minor um, family emergency, so she wasn't able to be there on Saturday night. Um, and then, um, and then, um, Father Vincent just forgot on uh, the seven o'clock. So those of you who are live stream only didn't get to hear uh, her presentation. But just an update uh, for just letting the whole parish know what's been going on uh, at the school and how hard. Uh, she and the staff have worked uh, in this particularly difficult year of, of, of Omicron, of people being in and out, being sick and back, and modified quarantine, and, and uh, having to close classrooms down and reopening them, and all the headache that they have done in order to keep our school open and uh, all of our children as safe as they can be. So... Uh, the, my hat, I tip my hat to Mrs. Ogden uh, and the staff for the continued hard work that they do, uh, not only in providing an excellent education uh, for our children, uh, but also in these unique days of uh, Omicron and Delta and whatever else um, for, for keeping, again, our school open and safe and our children uh, together in a, in a good and, and healthy, healthy manner. So again, hats off, uh, to them. So, 
Um, other than that, this week is just kind of a normal normal week. So um, the Rosary for the Sick on Wednesday evening, Adoration uh, with Brother Jose Maria, um, Confessions uh, on Tuesday and Thursday evening, Wednesday morning, and uh, Saturday afternoon. Um, and so, and again, just a normal uh, Mass uh, schedule this weekend for the for the upcoming fifth Sunday uh, of Ordinary Time, which you will celebrate uh, quite fine uh, without me. I know you'll be in Father Gregory's uh, capable hands, uh, lovingly assisted by uh, Father David and Father Vincent. So uh, have a wonderful week. I look forward to uh, seeing you uh, the following weekend, uh, if not sometime during this week. All right, God bless. Take care and see you soon. Bye-bye for now.